In this video, I'm going to show you the best coverage defense in Madden 24 right now. This comes out of the nickel 3-3 Cub defense formation. And if you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 Cub defense v-book, I think it is the best defense of the game by far because of its versatility. You can get the full scheme by becoming a Patreon member today for only 10 bucks. The link is going to be down in the description below. And in this video, like I said, we're going to talk about the best coverage in the game. What you want to do in your packages for this is you're going to, we're in the 4-6 playbook, for packages, you want to be in the safety nickelback package. Now, as you notice, it's going to change where your players are lined up. So what I recommend is go ahead and just sub everybody back out and back in where you want them, okay? So just go through. I'm going to sub these guys out and back in wherever I want them to be at. Um, so, for example, I want Ed Reed at corner, so I'm going to come over here, put him at corner. I want, you know, Hill here. And just by subbing them out and subbing them back in, it will uh, make sure everything is uh, set up properly, okay? So, again, just subbing out, subbing back in. Make sure you have your fastest defensive ends here. We know this is going to improve the pressure significantly on this formation. And then uh, and then we're all set up and ready to roll, okay? Now, you don't need to send any audibles for this. This is already set up for you. And essentially, this is a coverage that I love to utilize to play uh, really any, any formation. It's one of my favorite... Uh, tactics. So we know the blitz in 3-3 cup is really good, right? If we just send five out of this formation and we talk a little bit more about this in the ebook, there are ways to get a gap pressure out of this defense, right? So we have one of the best blitzes in the entire game. And so what's going to happen is your opponent, when you they see you in this formation, they are probably going to block a running back, okay, to try to pick up this pressure. Because of that, it changes how we can defend formations specifically like bunch. So we always, when we when we set up this coverage defense, it's really important. If you think about it, if we set the blitz up, we're going to blitz our linebackers. We're immediately going to get in this gap and pass commit, okay? So what I like to do when I'm setting up a coverage defense is I like to try to make it look exactly like the blitz. So what I want to do is I want to audible to Tampa 2. I'm going to press, immediately get down in the gap, and I'm going to, I also like to just go ahead and blitz my user and pass commit. So that's all taken care of. Now I need to go about setting up my coverage defense, and what I like to do is I like to roll my coverage to the short side of the field. So we're going to put the outside cornerback on the wide side of the field into an outside third. We're going to put the outside safety on the wide side of the field into a middle third. And then on this left side, we're going to utilize an outside third. So you see, this is what the coverage looks like. And then from there, the last little step is we're going to drop the linebacker on hard flat, and I like to crash my line out. And you're going to see here that we're going to be able to stop one of the best plays in Madden this year, which is the Verts have back under. Now, really important here. Let's say that the bunch was to the wide or uh, I apologize to the short side of the field. OK, if we call this coverage with our bunch to the short side of the field, one of the things you're going to notice is if we set up the same coverage, even though we're on a different hash mark. Right. Then what's going to happen is let's say they try to run a. Uh, a concept over here on this right side, like a streak, a corner, and a flat. What you're going to notice is this coverage will no longer defend that, unfortunately, because of the way the game plays in terms of the grids that the zone coverage is built upon. So what we want to do to counter that is, again, we want to always run cover three to the, to the wide side. So we're going to outside third the left side. We're going to middle third that safety, and we're going to outside third the safety here. Now, all that leaves is we're going to drop, we're still going to drop that linebacker in hard flat. In this example, I like to drop both of the linebackers in a hard flat uh, on this side just to kind of help with everything that they can do. And again, we're anticipating that they probably will block their running back to try to take away the, the blitz option that we have in this formation. Okay, so you might get a concept like this. Again, I always recommend pass mining this year unless someone is really running the ball. And what you're going to see here is now we're able to play much, much better. If I click on there, that's probably an interception. Mixing, if you just mix this one base coverage in with everything else, one of my other favorite tips uh, is I'll send five out of zone, and we'll do something like this right here. We're still creating the same concept. It's just now we don't have the flat defender. So if the running back goes on a route to the left side, I know that I have to go use the running back quick to the flat, and then we're relying on the safeties in the middle of the field. One of the best features of cover uh, or of 3-3 Cub is the fact that the safeties are down in the box. So we can do a lot of different things with them, and I really recommend that you would do something like this. So in this example here, now we're going to be in the middle of the field, and we can release that to the flat and go to the middle of the field, and you see the pressure is going to have uh, a, a potential chance to get home. All right. 
So that's how you want to mix in your pressure. I think this year's game is basically going to be um, essentially a mix between sending five and then sending three. Sending five and then sending three. Sending five and then sending three. Uh, I really do think that right now. You can every now and then. One of the things that's actually kind of fun is to mix in a send four. So, like, if we just sit the linebacker off the left side, sometimes you'll get him to come in. As you see right here, he actually comes in off the edge. So, the beauty of 3 through Cub is its versatility, its simplicity, and its speed at which you can adjust from it. And I would definitely recommend utilizing this coverage defense combined with the pressure that you can get out of this formation to make this the best defense in the game. We teach you everything about this defense in the Patreon. If you want to get access to everything in the Patreon, all you got to do is sign up today for just 10 bucks. You're going to get access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.